Jeffrey Combs, president and founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated, live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, with Abby O'Neill, her team, and a whole group of exceptional entrepreneurs from all around the northeast part of the United States. Let's give ourselves a hand. Woo! Now, just let, just let me let you know a little bit of the people. In the front row, we have Carla the Crusher Donatelli <laughs> and her whole family. Over here is Sabrina Walker, who has been my client for 10 years. Right over there, we have Danielle Rocco, Miss Television herself. The coach, there's Cassie. And don't forget the iconic one, Tara Mack. And then all the way from Long Island, Eric Potato, the financial planner that you deserve to connect. And right back there is Imani, Imani Mamelushin. So that'll just give you, and right there, restaurant owners, Jeff and Jenna. What restaurant do you own? Side Street Cafe. Side Street. And I believe we pretty much covered the audience. So, so let's move right into the content portion of today. Today's content is this right here. I'm not where I should be. Actually, you are. Because you're right where you are because of the decisions you've created. So the decisions you've created has created your outcome. Now for you to let go of the cause that creates the effect of why you do what you do, you'll require a little bit of insight that will assist you to move to where you commit to being. Now being able to commit is a skill. Commitment is led by using the word commitment. But if you hope, like to, you're going to try, give it a shot, mail it in, right coach? Right over there is my, my coach's coach, that's Cassie. Cassie's a top tier high school basketball coach and she knows in the locker room that you don't try to win, right Cassie? No. Doesn't matter who your opponent is, but your opponent is you. Your opponent is your ego. Your responsibility is to let go of the events that shape the feelings that keep you doing what you're doing. So the first step in letting go of being where you are right now is number one, admit it. Admit you're here and admit that that's rigorous honesty. And that's, that's not a big deal, baby. That's cool. You're here where you're supposed to be. It's not. Fly, baby. It's so cool. It doesn't affect the sage. The sage can perform on command. <laughs> I'm right where I'm supposed to be. There's kids crying. There's people here. This is, what, this, is exact, this is raw. This is real. This is exactly the way it's supposed to be. So you admit where you are. And then number two, you commit to change in a dedicated period of time, a short period of time. One day, one week, one month, 90 days. That's, that's clearly defined short-term goals about the outcome you commit to. You can't commit without a commitment. It's not something you're interested in. You can't be in doubt of it. You commit to it. You let go. And the next step is you have a clearly defined vision of that outcome. You start to create that vision. You spend a minute or two a day. In, in, some kind of, in some kind of relaxed state before you go to bed, when you wake up, in a steam room, in a sauna, in Pilates, in yoga, in, in your car, somewhere, you start to have a clear vision of the outcome. And that vision is in color. You start, to, you start to see the colors, you romance it, you salivate it. You know that one day you're gonna own a 1983 911SC Porsche like I do. You romance that baby and you test drive that, you feel it, you have a picture of it, you know that one day that's yours, that's your possession before you even get there. And then fourthly, that you start to really relax into that state. You take the edge off and you relax into that state and you let go of your anxiety, your fear and your doubt and you be that person that you know you're capable of being. Jeffrey Combs, president and founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated in Portsmouth, New Hampshire with Abby O'Neill and a group of like-minded entrepreneurs. You have a great day.